Hey, what's happening everyone? FM Journeyman here and welcome to a prediction for Manager Experiment. Today, as you can see from the thumbnail, we're taking a look at the English Premier League. Now, I'm using the database that I found on Sorted Outside um, by Pro Zero, or however you want to pronounce it. It's a really solid database. It's all the up-to-date transfers as the pretty much the most up-to-date I could get my hands on. Um, it is free to download, so if you want to try it for yourself, please do so. Again, I'll put a link for that database in the description below. Um, so today we're going to look at the Premier League. Now, obviously, I simulated one entire year. Um, I made the uh, simulation as realistic as I possibly could. And then uh, we're going to take a look at the Premier League. So let's see how the Premier League finished. So Arsenal were crowned champions with 83 points this season. Uh, Liverpool was second place, 79. Man City, 79. Chelsea with 77, finishing up the top four. Uh, West Ham finishing fifth. That's a bit of a surprise right there. Man United sixth, Tottenham seventh, so they dropped quite a bit. Uh, Southampton eighth, Leicester ninth, Bournemouth tenth, they had a really good season. Stoke eleventh, Burnley, Newcastle on the return to the Premier League on 13th. Brighton survives, that's really good. 14th, Watford 15th, West Brom 16th, Swansea 17th, with Palace, Everton, believe it or not, Everton getting relegated, and Huddersfield with 28 points there. So, obviously, the initial surprise is going to be that either Everton got relegated or Arsenal win the league. Um, I'd like to see the odds on that, actually. Um, but nevertheless, Everton, what the hell happened there? Um, who did they bring in? This scene, because obviously they lost Lukaku. Uh, looks like they didn't really replace him with anyone special. Uh, they signed Meunier, who is a uh, strike on loan from Barcelona for the year. He only knocked up four goals, so that wasn't much help there. Uh, then they signed Vinaccio, who is a center half. Uh, Joshua Brennett, a right back. And then Steven Bra from uh, MK Don, just a, a regen player. So they didn't really replace Lukaku. And obviously, they did bring in Wayne Rooney. How did he do this season? Uh, let me see. Rooney, let me see. You only notched up seven goals this season, only three goals in the league. So. Obviously, losing Lukaku was a much bigger impact than I think anyone could predict. Uh, Sandro was a leading goal scorer of only 13 goals. So that was a little bit... I mean, obviously, it was very disappointing. They played in the Euro Cup as well. I'm not sure how far they got. It's probably not very far. Oh, I think also the double. Yeah, they won the Euro Cup as well. Wow, that's a good season for the Gunners. Um, but yeah, nevertheless, really poor season for Everton. Uh, let's go take a look at the player stats for the season. Let's see who did well there. Uh, goal scorers. Harry Kane was top goal scorer of the Premier League again with 21 goals, 34 appearances. Olivier Giroud with uh, 17 goals, 31 appearances. Callum Wilson, 17 goals, 35. Slomani getting 15 goals. Toma Hemed with 15 for Brighton. Aguero and Firmino finish on 14. And Bernardo Silva on his first years at Man City finish on 13 goals. Take a look at the assists. Um... Gadogan got 13 for Man City, Mark Noble 13, Hazard 13, Marta, Uzil all on 13, De Bruyne, Myers, and Knockart also finished on 11 just behind him. Take out average rating real quick. The player of the year was Juan Mato, average rating of 7.98. He had a stellar year for Manchester United. Uh, then Uzil 7.97. Klein, a right back for Liverpool, 7.73. Sanchez, 7.73. Aaron Cresswell having a really good year, 7.7. .7. De Bruyne is on there. Koscielny, Mertesacker, Monreal. I mean, they're back. I mean, I guess the Arsenal back line this season was superb with Koscielny, Mertesacker, and Monreal all averaging north of 7.5. So they had a really solid defense by the look of things. Um, who else? What else can we talk about on here? Probably nothing of any interest. Uh, oh, can't say one most distance. Uh, distance. I'm not. I'm not shocked at that at all. Um, go back to the Premier League real quick. Take a look at the preview. So Man City were previewed to win. Sorry, were predicted to, fin to uh, win the league this season. Average with odds of three to one. Arsenal were uh, predicted to finish uh, second, uh, thirteen to four. The Man City, Chelsea, Tottenham. So there's been a little bit of movement, but generally speaking. Um, Foot manager kind of got it right, to be honest. If you Arsenal obviously won the league, looks like they did it pretty comfortably as well. Who who was the top score for them this season? Uh, it was uh, Lacazette. And his first season for Arsenal got 19 goals. Uh, obviously, Giroud, who we talked about already, got 17 goals in the league. Uh, but Lacazette notched up 11 in the league. Didn't actually play as many games as you would have thought. He only played 26 games in the league this season. Maybe uh, picked up a knock. Uh, nope, no injuries, so he just didn't play that much in the league. But nevertheless, he had a really good season, 19 goals, 4 assists. 
Uh, Ozil, 14 goals and 20 assists. Look at that. That's beautiful, isn't it? I love a, I love a player that gets plenty of assists. And uh, Ozil had a really, really good season for Arsenal. All right, so uh, let's go back here real quick. Liverpool, so you played well for them. Uh, let me see. So Firmino got 17 goals. Lana had a good season with 16 goals, 11 assists. Um, let me see. Uh, uh, not Mohamed Salah got 13 goals in his first season at Liverpool with uh, four assists. He had a pretty good year. Let's go to United. Let's check out Lukaku. They spent a lot of money on in the summer. Uh, Lukaku only scored 10 goals. Only scored 10 goals. Uh, only scored two goals in the Champions League. Only got six in the Premier League. So that's very disappointing. Uh, injuries. Oh, he's, he's been... No, this is all last season. Nope, nope. It, yeah, last season. This is all last season. Yeah, that's not a... So they didn't have any injuries. Just didn't play a lot. Bit of a surprise there. Uh, one matter, as we already spoke about, had a good year. 10 goals, 18 assists. Uh, Nemanja Matic. Did he sign for them? No, no, you Matic uh, with... I must have missed that one. Uh, with 10 assists to his name. Let's go take a look at the transfers in the Premier League real quick. So the top transfer was uh, Laporte moved from Bilbao to United with £56 million. Pounds. Um, oh, that's, a, that's a lot of money for a centre-half, to be honest with you. Uh, then Gelson Martins, who joined Arsenal, another winger for Arsenal. Guess they can't have enough. Uh, £52 million. Pedro moved to Barcelona for 46, potentially 52. Uh, Martinez moved to Chelsea for 37 million. Another centre half going for a lot of money. Uh, James Ward Prowse went to Manchester United for 27, 27 million. A uh, bit of a surprise. Good money for him, though, to be honest. He's a good player, but I don't know if he's worth north of 30 million pounds. Uh, Fred moved from Shakhtar to Chelsea. Uh, centre midfielder. A pretty good player. Um, so, yeah, that's really. All kind of the major transfers to talk about. Uh, Kiso and Young, 18 million pounds. They pay 18 million pounds for Kiso Young. <laughs> it's an awful deal. Um, anyway, um, yes, that's. I don't really have much more to talk about. Let's see the preview. We already talked about that. Um, goals, average ratings have been through that. Yeah, I think that's pretty much going to wrap things up. I mean, looking at this league table and my predictions for the year. Arsenal, I think, will have a really good year, bounce back year. I think Chelsea will be good this year. Man City will be good with another year under Guardiola. Uh, Man United definitely have got better with the signing of Lukaku. Um, Liverpool, though, they're a bit of a conundrum. I'm not sure what's going on there. Uh, they obviously bought in Salah, and they still pursue, uh, in pursuit of uh, Virgil van Dijk. So I'm not quite sure... Uh, if they get Van Dijk, will it make that much of a difference to them? I think it will definitely help their back line a lot. They haven't got a lot of great quality, superstar quality centre-halves, and Van Dijk will definitely improve that. But, um, again, they're, they're kind of the odd ones out for me. They're going to have to be really, really good this season, or they're going to struggle to get into the top four. Um, as far as relegation zone goes, obviously, i got to predict that Huddersfield and Brighton are going to go down, uh, just because... Their first year in the Premier League, they haven't got a lot of infrastructure in place to bring in those good players you need to survive. But I've seen I've seen teams like them stay up and be very successful. Um, Bournemouth being one of them, definitely, and obviously Wigan in the past. I mean Huddersfield and Wigan, I'm going to lie to you, about the same level of uh, club stature. So. Um, there has been success in the past for those two teams. Uh, Palace, I'm not surprised to see relegated here. I think they'll struggle this season. Um, also, keep an eye on Swansea. They also might struggle. Uh, they uh, obviously uh, pulled it out last season, but I think it's going to be a bit of a rough year for the Swans. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching the video. How do you think uh, the Premier League is going to roll out this year? Uh, do, you th do you agree with this uh, Football Manager 2017 prediction? Uh, what do you think? Who's going to get relegated? Who's going to get promoted? Put the comments below. I'll be looking forward to reading those. Uh, thank you all so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye.